Welcome to Big Catch Fish in Mississippi. Late summer crappie fishing can be tough, but you can catch some slabs and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'll show you jig heads and the soft plastic assortment that I use and some cool ways to trigger a bite. Thanks for watching. If you're looking at a good school of fish and they're not eating what you're presenting, change up quickly. Change color, change size, change retrieve. Keep changing it up till you figure out what they want. So these fish are still really finicky. There's my jig dropping out about 28 feet from the boat, coming towards a school of what I think are crappie. And a good tip is for this time of year, try to stay away from the school, 20, 30 feet away or even more and cast to them. I think they are really spooky this time of year for some reason. There you see a couple crappie looking at the jig. One of them is chasing it right there, but they are just not interested. This time of year, you're going to see tons of these uh, cases where the fish will chase your lure and they just won't commit. There's another cast about 28 feet from the boat. And I'm, at this point, I'm swimming it on top of the school, seeing if I can trigger a bite. There's a couple chasing it. One of them's right there, and he missed it. Another good tip is move around constantly. Don't sit on a brush pile for two hours. If you've got a bite or two, caught a couple fish off one and they shut down, just move to another brush pile. You can always come back to the same brush pile and try it. These are a school of really nice crappie. There you see my jig coming towards the school about 30 feet away. They're about 10 feet deep. Now my jig, I'm working it right on top of the school and swimming it through the school, seeing if I can trigger a bite. No takers, so I'm going to reel it in, get it out there again, casting it back out there. You can see it drop down about 32 feet from the boat. Now it's coming back towards the school, and at this point I'm still working it on top of the school. You know, there's one chasing it. Boom! Couldn't resist. Had to eat it. 848. Except I think it's a catfish. Oh, that's a crop. Dang. First fish, 848. Good lord, man. Tough, tough, tough. It's a good one. 13 and a half. Black crap. Make me something to eat. Make me something to eat. Okay, I got this on a 132nd ounce. ACC crappie sticks. Jig head. 32nd ounce, got an eighth ounce slip sinker pegged, a white crappie magnet. You want it to hang perfectly straight if you can. There you go. Check on my buddy. How you doing, Festus? He's got his water, his little bed. Estes is looking a little bit grumpy there. I think I woke him up. So here you see some crappie about 10 feet deep. There's my jig dropping down to them about 30 feet from the boat, 25, 30 feet from the boat. There you see the jig kind of swimming it on top of the crappie there. It looked like one of them was interested. One of them kind of chasing it. It's hard to see the jig. But boom, he ate it. Couldn't resist. Crappie, 9.47. We'll take it. Another trick to trigger a bite is to let your jig drop through the school and bring it up through the school vertically. Sometimes that can trigger a bite too. 12 and a half inch black. Let him go. All right, little man.
This is it. We are good. I ended up releasing the fish. I only caught a couple and went home to take a nap. Good afternoon. Late summer fishing is the toughest crappie fishing of the year as far as I'm concerned. So what do you do? I've got a, a lure breakdown here that I use and it's helped me to catch a lot of fish, especially in July and August. But the last week in August, these first couple weeks in September is always tough. So here's what I use. Let's just say hello. I've got uh, jigs here. These are eighth ounce, pink, white, black, unpainted, and then chrome. And on these eighth ounce, I, I usually cut the keeper off. And then I've got 16th ounce, unpainted, uh, nickel plated, and I cut the keepers off. These are 132nd ounce jigs. Usually I leave the keeper on. They're, it's so small it doesn't mess up the bait, but a white, black, pink, unpainted, nickel plated also. And this is a, a ACC Crappie Sticks 32nd ounce jig. They make great jigs. I don't usually use underspins in the late summer, but they tend to really produce as well. And then I've got some hand tied jigs. These are eight ounce. This is little Stumpy, Thomas Thumper. You can go to stumpthumping.com to find those. Thomas Fishing has those. These are made from a friend of mine at MSDAV Crappie Fishing. DAV stands for Disabled uh, Veteran. And these are some hand tied that he made. Uh, I'm going to try those. I have an assortment of slip sinkers, eighth ounce, quarter ounce. This is actually a three-eighths ounce tungsten. I use that because uh, it uh, has a smaller profile. These are some uh, split shot number five, number four, and number three. And these are uh, sixth sense bobber stoppers. They work really well. As far as soft plastics, I use the Bobby Garland Slab Slayer. I really like these uh, spear tail grubs. They have more action, surprisingly. Pink Pearl and Blue Pearl, I probably catch the most fish. I also catch a lot on this June Bug Chartreuse. And earlier in the year, I was catching a lot on the Eclipse. And then also, this uh, Ghost Color has produced a lot as well. And when the bite is really tough, I go to the crappie magnet and I catch a lot of fish on the white and the show nuff or monkey milk. I uh, also catch quite a few fish on the pink and white and blue and white. And then also I, I catch some on this uh, heavy D color. It's kind of a natural looking color. And this little bait, this itty bitty slab hunter, is a really good bait too when a bite's tough. And these baby shad have produced as well. These are good for vertical jigging. I like the spear tail for vertical jigging or casting, but these um, baby shad, I, use, I catch a lot on the white, the glacier, and the monkey milk colors. And then sometimes they just want a plain grub. I use a, a two inch grub, curly tail, and white catch a lot of fish with that and then one of the most important best tips i have is to get the real magic spray that on your line before you go fishing on monofilament or fluorocarbon will really help make it easier to cast you can cast farther your line won't get tangled up as much anyway hope this helps you to catch more fish and have some fun Festus was disgusted he couldn't go with me had to stay home it was too hot all right going for round two in the afternoon, we're going to try it again. I went this morning. It was tough. I think we're getting closer to uncracking the code. Temperatures starting to come down, so they ought to be even. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to hit the like button. Share the video and leave a comment. I'll answer every one. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your support, and God bless you all. So this is a really nice school of crappie, big-looking crappie, about six feet deep. There you see the jig swimming above the crappie now i'm dropping it down it's like a couple are looking at it boom there's one 401 one of them hit it had to eat it fine goodness gracious <clears throat> top lip
Right at 13 inches. Dude, in a live well. Thank you very much. First fish, and it's 401. Here's a setup. I got an eighth ounce sliding sinker pegged in place. Got a 32nd ounce. This is a big bites uh, black jig head with a red and chartreuse crappie magnet plastic. Ah, I see one catching the other one. So here are some nice looking fish about six feet deep. I think they're crappie. One of them just tasted the jig, boom, but he didn't get it. When that happens, try to cast out there as quickly as possible. These are some nice looking fish. I, I hope they're crappie. Anyway, there's my jig dropping down about 17 feet from the boat. And I'm bringing the lure across the top of the school. One of them's looking like he's chasing it. Is he going to eat it? Nope. Got to reel it in and throw it back out there again. Hopefully they'll bite it this time. There's my jig dropping down about 18 feet from the boat. It's working through the top of the school. And boom, one of them hit it right there. There's one. It's 449. Good night. Right out of 11. It's black crappie. I'm using that pink and white crappie magnet on a 16th ounce, I think an unpainted lead head jig. There you see the jig dropping down about 20 feet from the boat. Fish are about six feet deep. And one of them just hit it and I missed it. That looked like a good fish too. So after that happens, be sure to check your jig and lure. Make sure it's straightened out and get it back out there to them again. So there you see a jig right on top of the school bringing it through them. It's like one of them, two of them are chasing it right there. See if they'll commit. Keep working it, reel it away from them. And one of them came up and hit it, didn't even see it. Five nineteen. Goodness gracious. Suckers are making me work for it. Easy, buddy. Easy. Goodness gracious. Get him. He's 13. A little bit over 13 inches. Black crappie. That's what we're looking for right there. Well, I caught a couple, but my wife called me. I had to do a honeydew, so I just let the fish go. It was able to come back out a little bit later, and this is a nice school of big crappie. There's my jig dropping down about seven feet from the boat, right on top of them. You can see how big the crappie are compared to the rectangles. Boom, one of them hit it right there under the boat. Notice the time stamp, 6.53 p.m. Get up in the boat. Get in the boat. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Look at that toad. Once you get a fish to bite, get the hook out of them, put it in the live well, or release it, and get your jig back out there as soon as you can. Sucker's 13. A little bit over 13 inches. You black crappie. Look at that. I'll let him go. Very much for your service. I 
caught that last one on the Blue Pearl Spear Tail Grub by Bobby Garland. Got to straighten it out on your jig and get it back out there as soon as you can. And this little school of crappie is probably six or eight, maybe ten fish. These are some good sized crappie. So I dropped it back down there one minute later at 654. You can see the school of shad. It's dropping through the shad right now and the crappie are underneath it. There's my jig dropping down. Those are some good looking crappie down there. See if one of them will bite it. Kind of jigging it up and down. One of them's looking at it. Boom! One of them hit it. There's another one. 654. Yeah, man. That's a good one, too. Get in the boat. Like a white crappie. Look at this toad. That's what I'm talking about. 12, 13, over 14 inch, big old white crappie. Look at that. Mm. Nice white crappie. 14 inches. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. I appreciate it. God bless you all. And shout out to my brother, Kerry. Miss you, bro. Get out there and go fishing soon.